photographic protocol. To develop an adequate patient's rapport, two pictures are mandatory. Of course, the higher the number of pictures is, the more detailed the virtual analysis will be, especially with regards to the aesthetic proportion between the teeth and the general facial features of the patient. The software uses a system of measurement to convert pixels into millimeters through the collection of some photographic markers. If you are worrying not to have adequate photographic devices, I can reassure you as you don't need the too sophisticated equipment. You should just have to take good care of the quality and sharpness of your images. The patient should sit firmly, the head leaning against the spacer and the feet well placed on the floor. Face and camera should be aligned on the same height. The camera should be vertically oriented to use the sensor at its best and to optimize the performance of the DSS during the image processing procedure. The picture should be shooted minding the concept of aesthetic plane. The arbitrary plane obtained between the porion as a rear repere and an imaginary point 10 cm lower than orbital as front repere has proved to be the most analogous in relation to the horizontal plane. The patient should look straight into the camera, keeping the bipupillary plane as parallelly as possible to the horizontal plane. A uniform and chromatically contrasting background helps the following imagery processing. A picture with dilators. We recommend to shoot the first picture with dilators in order to avoid accidental head motions in the second shot. The camera must be vertically oriented and the face perfectly centered within the frame. The auricles must be well visualized and free from hair. The second picture. The second picture must be shooted without dilators carry not to change the patient's position. The patient must smile naturally but extensively. Having shooted the two mandatory pictures, you are now ready to create your patient's report.